Hi there, Richard at Orange Campers and uh, just a quick vid uh, video on this wet day to show you the beautiful little micro camper we've got. We've just come back from a show with it and um, it had a great response there and as you can see it's a beautiful pretty van. It drives beautiful, we really do. I've been driving this now for a couple of days um, just to and back from the show and so on and I'm really impressed of how good it drives. It is exactly like a car light drive and uh, very easy to park and so on and as you can see it's a very little compact camper and uh, under five meters and uh, under two meters high so it's about 1.9.1 or something like that and uh, so it's, it's nice and small can get in any multi-story car park and that's a real advantage for a camper this size you lose a bit of space inside but what you gain is drivability and parkability so uh, let's have a look inside so inside the van we've got a, a lovely little setup. We've got the rib 104 centimetre bed, which is a cracking little bed, and it works in exactly the same way the uh, bigger ribs do. Simply just pull the lever, flip that over, and you can use this front section as a seat. You know, so if you want to put your table up and whatever you can sit on the front bit, and uh, to drop the bed, pull the lever, drop that down, and then simply push that back. It will lay fully flat or um, you can sit up in bed and so on. And as you can see, for a small van, that's quite a good size little bed. You know, so uh, really useful. To put it uh, back together, it's as quick as that. So literally, 30 seconds each way, and it'll, uh, it'll set up and put away. Inside the van, we've got all the usual features. We've got a uh, control panel, showing you the temp the, what's left in your batteries, and uh, turns your pump on, turns your lights on, things like that. Underneath there we've got some switches, one for a roof, so there's a light in the roof bed up there, and then there's a couple of switches down at the bottom to isolate each sort of lighting uh, setup you want. You have a wardrobe at the back, really nice big wardrobe, and that's got your fuses inside and so on. We can put your, a dividing shelf in there if you wish, at the minute it's open with a dropping hatch at the bottom to get even deeper storage as well. So for a small van, lots and lots of storage. Here we've got a nice food cover. Like I said, we've just come back from the show, so uh, we've still got a few of the uh, uh, demonstrating things in the cupboards. Underneath there, it houses a porta potty. So you just simply pull that out and uh, use that at night time. There's still storage at the side of it as well. So uh, like I say, in the small vans, storage is key. So you've got lots and lots and lots of storage. Uh, there's a nice uh, compartment there for all your bits and bobs underneath the sink. And um, we've got a 50 litre fridge, and um, these little fridges are great, we've got a little drawer compartment for the, uh, the veg, and a little freeze compartment as well. And this freeze apartment, you can have the freezer in, or if you'd like to make the fridge a bit bigger, you can remove the freezer compartment really easy, and you can make it into a bigger fridge. So for a little natty uh, fridge, they're really clever. Uh, this fridge you've got an app base with it as well so you can turn it off and on via the app so when you you know so you can um, set it to come on at certain times and you can control the fridge and the freezer at different temperatures so very very useful little device and uh, underneath the bed as well we've got lots of storage we've got two nice big deep pan drawers and um, safe scrambling inside the cupboards you can literally pull those open and um, get to everything you need to there so again, nice and easy storage. And one thing I did forget to mention about the bed is, being a little uh, rib, it is a, a sliding bed. So once you slacken off the seat belts a little bit, you can literally um, pull these beds. They only move about 300 mil um, when it decides to do it. But um, they move about that far forward. So you can come a bit more forward, especially when you're traveling, and you can travel in that position. So if you've got kids in here, you can bring them a little bit more forward than they are back here. You've got two Isofix as well, so it's a four seat to this van. Just a quick one, don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel, check us out on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Now uh, back to the video. You can have a five seater because we can leave the double in the front seat, whereas this has got a single seat which turns around to give you more space and more room. But as I say, two, two Isofix in there, and uh, four seat belted belts at the minute, chairs at the minute, so um, lots and lots of storage. And we've also got um, a sink, two burner sink and hob combination unit, so really nice, easy to clean, 
lots of use on there and then when you're not using it you can simply store it away and use all this as a nice work surface as well uh, two opening windows on either side and uh, this does have a twin slider all these um, uh, screw doors have a twin sliding doors and it does make a difference because what you can do is I don't know if you've seen in some of our other vans we can put an extra table rail there and you can have a table that side of your van uh, when the doors open so you can sit outside in the sunshine if the sun's on that side of your van you could sit there with a table set up uh, you've got all nice blackout curtains as well so lots of lots of nice space um, upstairs we've got a uh, pull down bed and that literally just pulls down it's on gas rams so very effortless and then um, when you want it there will be a mattress up there as well and an infill section and uh, when you push it up it just goes out of the way nice and easy the roof canvas itself is nice uh, extreme canvas so it's much more waterproof and cotton and you've got two mesh sides and one uh, window all the window compartments have zip ups to make it full blackout as well so um, as you can see from there and um, if we're looking at the van itself it's a really high spec van it's a Fiat Scudo uh, Primo edition or Primo edition should I say and um, lots and lots of high specs it's got cruise control this one's got the 7 inch screen on as well so if we look at the spec here I've got it on some boards what we, uh, we have at the shows and um, passenger airbag as well which is really important because a lot of these vehicles uh, are built for drivers only so this one's got a passenger airbag as well as a driver's airbag cruise control aircon factory alarm uh, twin slider color match front and rear bumpers so it looks really uh, stylish on the outside rear parking sensors uh, the 7 inch touchscreen Android uh, Auto as well so you can uh, mirror your phone onto the, the system there um, which is ideal when you're using maps and so on so you've got your built in live sat nav <coughs> one of the main features this has got is the panoramic rear view camera so um, it's one of the latest systems where it actually shows you an image from above on the screen of your vehicle looking down not only does it one side of a camera shows you what you can see behind you <coughs> excuse me I've got a bit of cold at the minute but uh, the other side of the screen uh, shows you a mapping uh, a view from above your vehicle and it shows you all the obstacles around your vehicle so it's an incredibly easy to park it really is a great camera system that one um, so um, uh, other features on this van uh, ideal first time camper van and uh, great for space super compact car park friendly it says easy to drive as your daily uh, car or second car first car and it really is a good option <coughs> instead of having a car even and um, um, everything's built to a really high standard and it complies with our in-house three-year warranty so we don't just sell your van and then uh, leave you we're always there with you every step of the journey we're always there you can uh, you phone us anytime and we'll uh, even if you're far away we do have a network of engineers so don't worry about being too far away from us we've got customers <coughs> excuse me in Aberdeen um, and then as far down as Cornwall and so on so and we just find we've, we've got a network of local engineers so uh, <coughs> lots of peace of mind there uh, so, if you're interested in what you see, then uh, give us a call, follow us on Facebook, watch us on YouTube, or come and see us at one of the uh, forthcoming shows. <laughs>